Okay, today we are penciling the final cover for Lady Mechanica, which is issue number four, the retail edition. Um, this has been a long time coming. I, you know, I've just been kind of, um, it's been constant lately, so I haven't really had time to process this yet. Because we started this comic book uh, in 2018, you know, kind of just doing a few sketches here and there and working on some pencils and we changed the story, we changed the approach and, and how ultimately the book ended up looking and that was enough time between my projects to uh, refine my style a little bit more. So, you know, now that we're four years from the first time that we decided to work on this book together, um, it's actually going to be done, so I guess I'll get into that a little bit more about like sticking to a dream and a goal and then seeing it through because honestly, Lee Mechanica was one of those books I wanted to draw ever since I saw her uh, a piece of the, the first piece of the art that um, Vince showed me of Lady Mechanica before they're going to put it in, I think, free comic book day or some ad um, during that time, and that was... That was a long time ago, so this is really, really awesome. I decided to go with the uh, 0.35 millimeter pencil, mechanical pencil, because I like how fluid my lines are when I do that. And I know Joe also uses uses this quite often for his lines and it makes it more kind of whimsical, you know? So um, I think for this one, I'm gonna do that. Then again, you know, I might switch pencils every so often because I do that a lot. I don't like to uh, put too much detail on my layouts, my uh, digital layouts that I print out because I want to be able to kind of go in there and add all the nuances on the paper itself. In other words, uh, I don't really tighten my layouts. I mean, maybe if I was really super pressed for time, I would basically have to do that, but fortunately for me, that's not the case. I'm trying to figure out what to do with her gun holster too, so. Let's see, for something like the um, revolver, her pistol, I would basically use the 09 because it's more steady and stable for straight lines, so I don't have to use a ruler. I should probably slow down how fast I'm moving my uh, hand in the pencil because um, my brain is not able to catch up, so I you know need to take my time doing this. I don't know, just think I'm procrastinating on certain things that. I, and I keep erasing. That's when I know that I haven't quite worked out how I'm gonna approach a certain thing, you know, on the page. So let's get the spec for the revolver as close as we can. I would love to watch Joe draw the revolver with his whimsical style because uh, when it's all said and done, it's like, this stuff is so technical. Yeah, I love I love the way he draws his um his tech. Amazing. That's what I do sometimes. I uh well actually I have to do it a lot is I flip through all the refs that I have and I try to make sure that it's pretty close to what has already, already ugh, pretty close to what has already been established for the book. And then um, I don't have to reinvent the wheel, but then also try to maintain my own style, you know. OK, 
Okay, I feel like the pencils are ready to scan and send off for approval. And then I'm gonna hopefully ink it, if not today, tomorrow. Um, and then we're gonna get this done. I'm gonna probably uh, let this sit a little longer, make sure that I'm okay with the proportions of everything because at an angle it looks kind of weird, so it's really hard to tell. Alrighty, I'm excited. I lied, so I redid quite a bit of it. I spent an extra hour to um, redo a few things and actually quite a few things. Which I'm glad I did. I'm glad I took a step back and reassessed it and I uh, think this is pretty good. I'm going to go ahead and scan it and see how I feel about it and then um, we'll go from there. Good morning. This is day two, technically. Um, we got the line art approved yesterday and so I am just inking now. This is mainly going to <clears throat> just be the silhouette of the dragon so I get to do all these really cool speed lines Some of my most favorite things when I'm inking Now I get to go and detail all the uh, focal points like the dragon's head, Lady Mechanica's face, the revolver, and then his fins. So I'm going to go in there and tighten things up a little bit. As I mentioned earlier, um, how do you follow your dreams and not get discouraged? Well, the not get discouraged part is uh, inevitable and it still happens to me quite often. Um, you know, I have like this, I, I try to visualize what it is that I want and why I want it and the, um, the joy of going through the process and uh, finding little things to appreciate about the journey, you know, I mean, sounds pretty cheesy, but you know, like the way that the brush feels on the paper and how the ink looks and um, just the little tiny processes, that, that to me is the journey, especially as an artist and the ability to grow um, your skills and kind of level up, that's kind of the enjoyment I get out of it. And I feel like that's what it takes to maintain and pursue your goals and dreams. And you know, um, you might not get exactly where you want to go, but at least you're going to be much further along because you actually tried.
Okay, let's use the uh, shader flat brush to um, darken some of these parts right here. to wait to uh, use the, what do you call it, uh, gel pen or acrylic pushka to um, add more contrast right here because I messed up and I, it's supposed to be a darker shade for his claws except it doesn't look all that great on the cover. Okay, let's go in here and uh, work on Lady M's face. This is where I use the uh, smallest pen tip that I could get my hands on. I mean, this is actually a point three. You could go even smaller than this. Now she's got no eyeball, or pupils, I should say. Okay, time for the finishing touches on this piece. I'm probably gonna go in with a marker instead of the uh, brush just to um, fine tune it and uh, streamline it basically. Time to erase. Um, I have to remember the last areas that I put my pen down in because otherwise it's gonna start smearing. And you know, you've seen me do this on camera. <laughs> <laughs> we already raised and it was smudge something. It's so bad <laughs> Anyways, um, I don't think this is gonna happen this time because I didn't use any brush pens where it would take a longer period of time to dry so This should be a pretty What's the word I'm looking for? Mess free I'm not sure if you could hear the crickets outside but they definitely are louder this time of the year
probably going to have to clean some of this up on Clip Studio as well. But I think, I think we're pretty much done. Time to scan it onto the computer. Look at my messy desktop. But we shall fix that right now. Time to clean up. Thanks as always you guys for stopping by my channel and the uh, comic book is now available on Kickstarter and it will be available in comic book shops this fall. Thanks.